for us beats Australia 2-1. My first prediction completely right, but the game was probably one of the more boring ones. Uh, so right there with Egypt, Uruguay yesterday. Uh, I think France had a really big trouble making the game against a very defensive opponent. Um, the Australians were very well organized, gotta give it to them. They knew that the best way is to just keep France contained and France just played the same thing almost the entire time. Uh, very predictable, just and with not much speed, which is probably the thing I was most uh, disappointed. But then I actually think they couldn't build some speed because uh, Australia was just uh, back there, hanging there, defending, and they did so very well. So in that sense, uh, France was actually well contained. And then uh, penalty, that was first not given. Uh, referee was told to look at it. Uh, turned into a penalty. I think it was the correct decision. Um, then another penalty four minutes later, right at the moment when I thought that we might. Well. Uh, France should have more space now, maybe it will get a little bit more exciting, but then okay, 1-1 one, one, and the game remained the same and it uh, took this strike from Pogba, actually I think the second real chance that France had to make the goal and it was by the thinnest of margins. I think if that ball hits just a little bit differently it will not count as a goal. But again we saw VAR, we saw goal line technology. Uh, so in that sense, this was a historic game. Um, it ended 2-1. Uh, not that I'm surprised. I really would like to see France against a more offensive-minded opponent. Uh, I think you cannot say much of how well they will do if they just play a uh, defensive opponent, which they probably will uh, in two more games, although I think Peru will take the game to them, and then we'll see what Denmark will do. My biggest disappointment, however, was that France didn't play in Red Sox. Call me crazy, but this almost ruined the game from the beginning for me. For me. Uh, I don't understand it. Uh, it would have been such a nice color matchup, probably my favorite one so far. Um, well, Australia, yes, all in yellow, could have also worn green shorts if it was me, but I think the uniform now is all yellow, so I'm fine with that. But the blue, white, blue, or navy, white, navy, didn't do it as much for me as it would have done the navy white red. I don't get it. I honestly don't get it why they had to do this. I think it's again the FIFA kit police, maybe because of the clash with the goalkeeper, the French goalkeeper I have to say, uh, which was wearing a red uniform there. So that was for me the biggest disappointment of the game. I actually didn't expect an exciting game. I mean, this was a typical first round World Cup game with a defensive underdog where the favorite who has a lot of quality, just cannot get um, through and cannot develop their game. And France surely is, is a team that is very good on the counter-attack, so it will be more interesting if they make it out of the group, which I expect them to do, how they will do against a more offensive-minded opponent. I think that could be a lot more interesting then. And then I think that we will see a lot more goals coming from France. So I think France just has to make a check mark. We got our three points. We start slow in the tournament. And now I expect the same from Argentina against Iceland. Let me know what you thought about that game and talk to you soon. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.